It's a, it's kind of a nice day out today. I was gonna spend all day inside editing videos, but I think I might go outside, enjoy this weather. It's like 68 degrees, cloudy and just absolutely beautiful. Not like too cloudy though. It's like, it's like the right kind of cloudy. So I think I might go fishing. Why not? Before I get, okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is why I break cameras. Okay, wait, balance. Before I get today's video kicked off, I got to mention that I am gonna be holding a contest as a thank you for all the support in the past couple of weeks, months, days. So with that being said, Carhartt and I are gonna be partnering up to give away, um, I think it's $375 or $350 worth of car gear. There's like a rain suit, uh, some pants some pants, all that good stuff. But if you're interested in learning how you can enter that contest and potentially win $300 plus worth of card gear, you can check the description below on how to enter. Okay, so all that set aside, let's get into today's vlog and hopefully maybe catch some fish. I don't know, I've got good feelings about these conditions right now. Curb, don't hit the curb. Don't. Oh, I hit the curb. Oh, jeez. Real solid, bud. Okay, so I'm at the first pond right now. Why isn't this working? This is a location I used to fish a ton as a kid, like freshman, sophomore year, high school. I used to come here all the time. I used to ride my bike over here and fish a ton. It's actually public, like it's owned by like the township or whatever but it's surrounded by houses and at first glance it would look like it's super, super private. Not my favorite place to fish, but I've seen the fish that come out of here, so I'm gonna give it a go. All right, big worm didn't work. I'm just gonna stick to frogging. If that doesn't work, we're gonna change ponds, switch up tactics, and hopefully find something big. I got a better feeling about some of the other ponds that are further down. Maybe they got some fish that are hungry. Not here though, I'm not getting a good vibe here. Totally lost the overcast. It, 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 it's sunny now. It's still cool though. It's right around like 65, 68 degrees, so I'm really liking this weather. Oh, there's a bass. This thing is for sure getting eaten today. I really think I should throw the frog right now. I think they'd eat the frog. I think they would destroy the frog. Oh, I just got bumped. Oh, sick. That was so sick. Oh, oh, look. He put it in his mouth and he spit it back out. There he is. <laughs> that was awesome look at that first fish of the day on that little discontinued swim bait that was so cool i watched him eating everything that was he he kept plucking at it almost like it was a dying bed bait fish at least he uh finally committed to it right at the roof of the mouth too not a terrible fish again we're fishing ponds today whatever you know i'm not going to try to focus too much on the technique and more just having fun today okay see you later bud <laughs> He just let himself go, I guess. Awesome first fish within a five minute time span, which is a good sign. On the little swim bait, I'm gonna pick up the big worm here in a bit and chuck it out in some deeper water. But uh, yeah, this may be my saving grace for today, at least as far as fishing goes. This is the power of a 12 inch worm. It catches big and small fish. I mean, dude, this fish is probably 13 inches. Look at that. That's crazy, dude. People don't realize how aggressive bass are. This guy's skinny, I'm gonna get him back. 
That's a good sign though. They definitely want the worm. There's a little BASS. Where did he go though? He went somewhere. He didn't like that I pulled up on him like that. There's one. Oh boy. Little guy. Ate the swim bait like a champ. This one's pooping too. Why? Gosh. There you go. Oh, I got poop on me. That's gross. Look at that nice pile of fish poop. That's just disgusting. That is the second time I've gotten fish poop on me. In one day, I've never even, I've really never even gotten pooped on by bass. Whoo, it's stanky. Okay, back at it. <laughs> I must be lucky or something. Oh, two of them. That was awesome. <laughs> I hope you guys saw that. That was so awesome. Ooh, that hook went deep. Okay, hold on, there he goes, he's good. Wow, that could have been bad. That was just before the barb. Look at that. That fish messed me up. Well, my swim bait isn't looking too good right now. As you may be able to tell, it's looking a little derpy. I, I think I'm gonna switch over to this, the, uh, I almost said swim bait, this is a worm. I'm gonna switch to the worm now. See if I can pick up a few fish deep. If not, I'm gonna tie on a buzz bait just for fun. See if that has any effect on these fish. Yeah. Oh boy, there's a good one. He's looking at it. I got him. Oh, that was awesome. That's a good fish too. That was so textbook. Flip him in. Not a giant, but dude, that was awesome. I saw that fish just kind of cruising like right there. I spooked him once, he pushed off and I cast right in front of him. And sure enough, he ate the weightless worm. 12 inch kills him this time of year, dude. That fish is in skinny, skinny water. Nice fish on the worm. That was sweet. Oh, see you guy. Look how clear that water is. Wow, there he goes. <laughs> Dope. Look at that worm. Ooh, <laughs> little squeaker. I saw him come out of nowhere. Man, look at that. This fish has some serious guts to be eating a worm that big. I mean, that's crazy. You can tell he's super skinny though. He really just needed that meal. My apologies, bud. Maybe the next one will, will not have a hook on it. Not sure if you guys could see that or even see my face right now. There we go. I'm not sure if you guys could see that over there, but uh, there's like a ton of spawning bluegill. That's what spawning gills look like. A lot of times you won't see largemouth. They'll kind of be on the outskirts of the grass, kind of waiting for a uh, bluegill to fall off its bed or something like that. But these can be great areas to fish. The bluegill really don't move off this. They're super vulnerable, and the bass know that. And the bass just go to town when they when you're fishing around bluegill beds. Hopefully come back here and find some more gill beds, but uh, that's a ton. I haven't seen that many in quite some time. I mean, there's easily 20, 30 gills. Yeah. There's a few fish over here. Got him. Oh, he wanted that worm so bad. Golly, he did one with that worm. I didn't think I was gonna find anything the farther I went down, only because it was just looking too choked up with grass. I'll take him all day on the worm. All right, I've just about fished out all these ponds. It's time to head out, get some work done. It's been fun though, caught some fish. Mission accomplished. Good day, real good day. is freaking heavy. I'm like, what is in here?
goodness. Oh, oh, this is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Pants? I love pants. Thank you so much, Cart. I appreciate the pagage. Mm, what do I want? Ooh. That looks good. While I'm sitting here eating my pie, I might as well do some Q and A's, or mainly questions, and then I answer them. Okay, here's a good one. Jess Boatman on YouTube asks, what is that purple and silver reel? I have been seeing this comment constantly. Okay, give me one second. So this is a purple and silver reel. This is my Japanese Shimano Metanium MGL. This reel came out this year, I think in early April. It comes in a 8.11 gear ratio. It's an XG model, which means it's the higher gear ratio, the highest one they make. So the reel itself is like completely silver, but uh, God, why is it focusing on my face? Hold on, stop, stop that. Okay, as you can see, the reel itself is completely silver, but there's like some purple accents right here, along with this carbon fiber handle. This right here does not come with the reel. You have to buy this separately. I think this is what confuses everyone because they go looking for like a Shimano Metanium MGL and they realize there's no purple, star drag, arm, knobs, or whatever, and they get a little confused, but these parts are not stock. Believe it or not, these parts are more expensive than some of the reels that I own, which is crazy. I did not pay for these parts. These parts were, were given to me in exchange, you know, for the fact that I use my videos. They're awesome. Um, the one thing I would suggest is getting the ZPI bearing upgrade. They're actually pretty inexpensive bearings, and they make a world of difference. It casts so far, it's super fast, and it's just, it's super sexy. So, if you're interested in picking this reel up, or what is my focus is all. So if you're interested in picking this reel up with the parts, then I'll leave the link in the description below. Come up here. Daisy, come up. Daisy, up. Answer some questions with me. You want know a piece of crust? That's a good girl. See, now you're my friend. Now you love me. What's on your head, dude? Chill out. What's this? You got problems. Okay, this is a decent one, I guess. Uh, Spencer Colby asks, what line do you use on your baitcaster? I'm guessing like, what line do I usually use? I'm not like too big of a fan in like promoting a certain company. I use a variety of different fluorocarbons. The BPS fluorocarbon's pretty good. Seeger's fluorocarbon's pretty good. Sunline's fluorocarbon's pretty good. What you have to realize is a lot of these companies, these manufacturers, will create the same line out of one factory. You know, there could be three different different companies getting the same line out of one manufacturer and just stamping a different label on it. As far as pound test goes, I think a good overall weight would probably be around 15 to 17 pound. Uh, that may be overkill for some of you guys out there, but that's just what I like to use. It's my personal preference. Mm, that's it guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want me to do more like Q and A's, let me know, cause I wanna answer some more questions, although I wanna do it more interactive sort of way so maybe if you guys want to like send me mm, i'm not really on snapchat as much as i should be mainly because the snapchat app on my phone is completely screwed up i'll try to think of a way to ha like integrate like a fun q a maybe like you guys send me a video or a picture or like a letter i might open up a p.o box i know rob from liquor's tv did that i want to integrate a way to kind of put you guys into my videos in some way shape or form thank you so much for watching as always i'll leave the link in the description of all the tools and tactics I use today, whether it be the worm, the camera, the rod, the reel, whatever. I'll leave it all in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Get off, you're done. You lost pie privileges, you just farted. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh.